Let's do it, man. Fireball these guys. Hiya! Oh god, 28 points of damage. That's sweet. <laughs>
Anyway, what it what is it? J S S E? Oh God, that's a terrible name to read. J S E. Uh, you look troubled. Did I name myself J S E, or is that just their affectation of how they they call me? This is it. There's no turning back now, kid. Oi, come on, J S. Rasley, I don't know why that guy has an accent. Just you wait, Lynx. Today's gonna be the day of reckoning. He's like Australian in my mind for some reason. Say your prayers that it'll do you any good. Or British? I don't know what accent I'm doing. He's laughing maniacally. Um alright, let's let's go. Let's roll, dudes. I'm ready to face any evil that might be out there. I can't control my character right now. This is all like a... Oh, wait, now I can. Okay, let's run. See what we got going on here. This is like, I guess, our first dungeon. Oh, hello. Look at that thing. It's uh what is that? A crystal-like thing. Some kind of switch, bugger. So close and yet so far. All right, well, let's go back the other way then. Um, now, this game does have a number of interesting uh, features. For instance, it is an RPG with no experience point system, which is kind of interesting. Apparently, after beating a boss, you can then go ahead and uh, earn trait points. Um, you can earn a couple of trait points as you fight enemies. Um, and then once you sort of get like four or five trait points, then you kind of max out and you got to beat another boss before you get more. Um, this, by the way, is an enemy. There's no random encounters in this game. There's only enemies on the screen that you can bump into, and then you have an encounter. So I kind of like that there's no random encounters. That's kind of cool, too. Uh, you know, just walk... Games that do have random encounters, you're just walking around on the map, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, you've encountered a wolf. Um, not the most annoying thing in the world, but it is a little classically annoying. Also, you can run away from every single fight, even boss fights. Kind of an interesting feature. Um, anyway, let's just go ahead and start, uh, the Cybot. Um, okay. Cy so wait, these are different gendered Cybots? Look, there's female and male if I switch between them. Okay, this is a Cybot couple out for a walk on, like, a Sunday. And we're coming at them. Uh, oh, a 91% chance of one hit. 79% chance of two hits. 69% chance of three hits. Let's crunch the numbers, guys. I'm gonna go two hits. Oh, I missed! Okay, I'll do one hit. Okay. How about... Three hit! Oh, I missed again! Alright, one hit. Interesting. I don't know what that was all about. Um, you do have stamina in this game. Oh, see, underneath it says stat seven. So that's how much stamina you have. Um, and, oh, I guess I had attacks that have different amounts of stamina requirements. Okay, so let's... Let's weaken him. Oh, he- wait, he, he's attacking us with his arm? That is so random. Um, uh, okay, we're gonna keep attacking. And we'll do this one. And then we'll go 85%. Yeah, then we'll go 87%. Oh, we missed again! These are the luckiest enemies. 87% chance of hitting and we're missing these. That's crazy. We still haven't killed one Cybot here. Let's start with the one. Okay, he's coming in for an attack. Oh, he just slammed JS right in the top of his head. <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna... Put that. Okay, 80% chance of hitting. How did we miss one still? That's unbelievable. There we go. All right, J... JS has built his stamina back up. He's gonna come in here. And he's going for the level three attack. Can't get lucky all the time, dude. Kid's gonna come in. And Kid, oi! You're gonna get one right in your face. Boom, 17 points of damage. 94% chance of hitting, 17 points of damage. 99% chance of hitting. Jeez, we still didn't kill that thing. Okay, let's hit the Cybot with everything. We were just going for... We're gambling now. We're going for the high attack options. Boom, field effect. That was a bad thing for us. 94% chance. Damn. Razzly kind of sucks. Maybe Razzly is the, like, caster, and I, I'm... He should not be attacking hand-to-hand. 31% -hand. damage... Or 31 points of damage. The guy's still alive. Damn. There we go. Jay's sword is kind of cool. It's like this, uh... 
I don't even know what you'd call it. It's like a ringed spear. Almost reminds me a bit of like a Klingon Batleth. Um, okay, J goes up by one hit point. Okay. Uh, elementals use, oils found. All right, I think there was another message in there. Someone else who gained experience, but that's fine. Anyway, we killed some robots, a male and female robot. I don't know how robots have gender or why. If you're a robot, that means you're manufactured in a factory. Why did they give you a gender? <laughs> Just for funsies, I guess. They're like, yo, robots gotta, robots gotta date too. Dating all ain't all about procreating. Sometimes it's just about getting it on, having a good time. Um, okay, so we are in a maze, obviously. I need to pay a bit better attention of like where I am and where I'm trying to go. Hopefully this is not a super complicated maze. Hopefully they have pity on us. And they're not trying to, uh, uh, oh, I thought that was gonna be a random encounter. That, okay, so this is a dead end. So this is obviously sort of like a tutorial level where, you know, we're going to fight a few enemies, going to learn a little bit about how the game works, and then we'll probably fight some kind of boss who will, like, shatter worlds and create two parallel dimensions, and then that will sort of start us off on the story. So, all right, let us go in for the attack. I'm doing the high percentage maneuvers, or the, the low percentage. Oh, man, this guy's just dead. Damn, I did like 60 points of damage. How's he not dead? He clobbered me. Okay, JS, you can wait here for a sec. I like how the hit points are just question marks. Do I not know? My characters don't understand Cybot physiology enough in order to estimate how much uh, life they actually have. One thing about Cybots, though, they don't punch you. They rip off their arm and clobber you with it. There we go, we iced a Cybot. Okay, let's see if Razli... Hmm. I was gonna say, this guy must have spells or something, I don't know. Uh, high percentage play, here we go! High percentage play! Kid's going in too, man. He's 69%'s gotta land. I think just the first few times I attacked in this game, I just got really unlucky. Uh, Jay's, Jay's gonna go back in. Razzle, you just sit back, buddy. You're useless. Oh, hello. Boom! You can't dodge it twice, can ya? Alright, so the high percentage play, or sorry, they're not high percentage. The high stamina requiring attacks, obviously, are way more worth it. Um, use remaining power and elementals from this battle for healing. Max healing without using consumables. Use consumables in stock too if needed. Do not heal party. Um, heal without consumables, I would say. That seems to be the best way to go. I, I don't want to use any of my consumables in these like little preliminary battles. Um, okay, what is this? Anything? Wait, what did I just bring up? A menu of nothing. <laughs> Ever want a totally empty menu? Chrono Cross has you covered. I guess it's like an item menu or something. I just probably have no items. Um, all right, I think we gotta go. This is the only way we can go. Over here. Okay, isn't this where we came in? This is where we came in, wasn't it? Confused. Oh no, here we are. All right, we found the switch or whatever it is. What is this thing? You know, the fact that this game has parallel dimensions is kind of reminding me of, like, Legend of Zelda, um... Oh, wait, what What did I just do? Legend of Zelda, a, uh, Link to the Past? Yeah, because that had, like, the, the dark world, right? It had, like, the regular world and the dark world. Oh, the teleporter pad is glowing. I'm really curious to see this parallel world thing in action. Let's do it! Initiate Dimensional Travel Rift. Like the first episode of Sliders. You guys remember that show? Slider. It was not a show about delicious hamburgers. It was a show about people who would slide between dimensions. And it had the kid from My Secret Identity. And it had uh, Gimli, the dwarf. 
playing Arturo. Um, had Remy Brown, I think. He was just sort of like a like a jazz singer that got sucked into the slider thing. He did not know the other sliders, and then he got sucked into these parallel dimensions. Um, anyway, I, anyway, let's focus on this game. Um, what the bloody hell just happened? What are you doing out here? Where are we? Oh, we are flying up. Woo, bugger, we're so high up, this thing's a-floating. Razzly. Did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? This sure is some fort. Eh, Jaius? Jaius just looks confused. <laughs> you alright, mate? You've been acting all weird. Who knows what's up ahead? Just stay on your toes, eh? Alright. Tippy-toe our way into this fight then, I guess. Big giant door. I'm guessing there will be a bad guy waiting for us. Can I open the door? What's happening? Oh, there we go. He was just thinking for a long time. Okay, let's actually watch this cutscene. I want to know... Oh, God. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> He's sleeping. Or wait, he killed her? And he likes it. Interesting. Uh, okay, so I want to kill my, my... My teammate is so annoying, I want to murder her, apparently. J.S. Yes? Good morning, J.S. Come on, sleepyhead. Oh, there, um, wait, what? What is happening? So I think... I don't know if the game's really going to get to this or not, because it seems to be a slow burn starting off here, but I think this is sort of the central plot of this, is that in the two dimensions, in one dimension, you were never born, and in another dimension, you were. And so as you travel between the dimensions, it's like coming to terms with the fact that there are these two worlds, one where you did and didn't exist, which I think is actually kind of a cool plot idea. Um, anyway, we're waking up now. I guess we're a child again. We got hit in the face so hard by that door that we went back to puberty. Hello? Good morning, Jaius. You're finally up. The sun's already at high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see if you're up, but you were... But you, young man, were still uh, off in Never Never Land. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. What? <laughs> Hashtag life advice. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. Oh my. Hello? Jayus, check out this sawfish. Awesome, ain't it? Poppy caught it down south of El Nido Triangle. Nobody likes going down there, though. They all say it's too creepy. Sucker sure looks tasty. Wow, look at that giant. That fish is huge, actually. That's scarily big. Yo, Jayus, what do you think of the sawfish, dude? Have you ever seen one this size? It's gotta be from the legendary Dragon King Palace. Wouldn't you agree, JS? You are probably right. I think so too, I knew it, I just knew it. It really is true then, from here on out, happiness will be rolling into my life. Yeah, I'm sure everything will be fine for you, buddy. Just fine. Cut to this entire island being obliterated in a cross-dimensional explosion. Oh, he gave me something, though. Jay received a Komodo skill without lifting a finger. I wish the legend was true, though. Okay, I kind of wasn't paying attention to what he was saying. I hope none of that was important. Um, Alright, we got a village of... <coughs> excuse me, people that we can interact with. But in the interest of time, screw those people. Let's just go exploring. Wow, I, I didn't explore that village at all, actually. I have no idea where I'm going, either. I'm in the water. Can I run? I can totally run, too. Man, you can just run from one side of the island to the other. Huh. I really did not check at all as to what I should be doing. Let's enter the Hydra Marshes. <laughs> what bad could happen? Uh, let's see what this guy has to say. Hello? Why, if it isn't you, Jayus, didn't the village elders tell you not to come near me? Yeah, but I don't listen so well, dude. Okay, so we can't go in there yet. 
Um, let's go back to the village. I, I didn't realize, by the way, it would let me leave the village before I talked to anybody. We should probably figure out what we're supposed to actually be doing before we just go running around the village. Um, but there was a girl who's looking for me. Is, was this her? Hold on. This girl's actually very tiny. Wait, is it this girl? Hello? Were you, were you the one who's looking for me? Yo, Jayus! I heard you totally blew off Lena. Okay. That's really gutsy of you. I guess it kind of shows her who's boss, eh? Don't tell her I said so, but my sister's a bit uptight. Uh, like, break her in a little? <laughs> Whoa! You need to make her act a little more ladylike. My fingers crossed for you. Okay, so we gotta find her sister. Where do you live, I wonder? Um, these look like old people. Oh, who has, like, has a chicken pet. Not a chicken peacock creature. The kangaroo's head. Uh, let's check in here. You presume the girl's sister should be somewhere nearby. Oh, they have a pet too, a chihuahua dog. Oh, look at this whole little village to explore. This is nice. Oh, wait, is this Lena? Hello, Lena? Why, hello, Jayus. Did you want to hear the real truth about the world? Um... Insanity leads to chaos and solitude, fruitless efforts of adding meaning to what is meaningless. This girl just got out of a long-term relationship, you can tell. She is broken, man. A lone crimson tear falls into the sea. The echo remains of the star that cries the infinite vacuum. At least I can do with some of my distant prayers over the winds of time. Well, how'd you like it, J.S.? Were you moved? I've been dreaming about becoming a poet since I was little. I want to cross continent and make name for myself. Um, but look at me. I'm in this puny village, waitressing at a rundown shack. What you say, my restaurant? Oh, what you say about my restaurant? You can quit any time, you know. Yikes. Just kidding. Uh, I was just saying how good the work environment is. That chef did not like... Okay, so this is not Lena. Pretty funny, though. I feel bad for her now that she's, like, working at this restaurant and wants to, you know, has a bigger aspirations. Hi, doggy. Doggo doesn't want to talk to me. That's okay. Um, Lena. Lena. What's in this barrel, I wonder? No answer. It's just a quote-unquote barrel. <laughs> what? Innuendo. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, Lena. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them mad. I feel like that was code for something. Don't piss off the hot chick. Yippee! I could just full on... Okay. <laughs> Are you Lena? You know who Lena is? Oh, here we go. You're late, Jayus. Sleeping in as usual, I suppose. You promised you go get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Woohoo, Jayus! Lena, look at me! Oh, but I did get a Komodo scale, didn't I? Come on, you guys. You should join us. It feels really good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far. Okay, gotcha. Just swimming in the open ocean, the shark's gonna get him. Remember when we were like that? Not a single care or word in her mind. She doesn't seem that pissed off that I totally bailed on her. Everyone's like, don't piss off women. You'll regret it. Meanwhile, she's like, look at her. She's just so happy to see us. Um... She's worried about her necklace. We have to face up to reality and live each day anew. So I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault you were late. Once you collect some Komodo scales, I'll catch up with you. Oh, I see. Go buy her fancy, fancy lizard scale jewelry, and then maybe she'll be, maybe she'll be my girlfriend again. I see how this works. <laughs> Yo. Let's, uh, we're going to game her. We're going to, we're going to game this girl. She's going to want us so bad by the end of today. She just asks us to do something. We say, uh, nah, forget it. Excuse me? What did you just say, Jayus? Think about it. It's your fault for sleeping in, you know. Seeing as how you let me down, I say you owe me a couple hundred of those scales. Now go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I'll let you off easy this time with only three scales. I'm counting on you, okay? <laughs> Oh man, 
We gotta think of a- we gotta like neg her when we come back. Good neg. You like, uh... I don't know. I, I don't actually really know how to run game, I'm just... I'm just talking out of, uh, you know... What I've seen more successful friends do in clubs when I, in my youth. But, uh, yeah. I like there's like a... Bunny jumping around the field there. This village is very beautiful and serene and nice. It's very well done, this little part here. Um, anyway, let's- okay, so we want to go up to the mountain. Let's actually get her the scales. It is our fault. We're kind of being a dick. You know, we're- we're being- we are being the a-hole in this scenario. Um, Lizard Rock. There we go. Oh, I thought Lizard Rock would be up a mountain for some reason. But no, it's just like randomly. Here, okay, we'll push this rock out of the way, apparently. And then, let's go kill some things and get their scales. This thing was just minding his business and we show up behind it with, like, bladed daggers. Oh, wow. The environments are actually really cool. Uh, okay. Let's attack. What are these? Beach Bum. Beach Bum A, Beach Bum B, and a Sand Squirt. The hell? And they all have various genders. Two male Beach Bums and a female Sand Squirt. Draw your own conclusions. We're going with 65%, man. Oh, we one-shotted him. Oh, wait, hold on. Element. Um, ret restores a small amount of health. So the way this game works is that there are six different elements. Um, and it's basically a color wheel. Like, red is fire, blue is water, green is air, yellow is earth, black is darkness, uh, and white is light. Surprise. And, um, you basically, um, I think it's the way it works, like, the elements are, like, sort of spells you can cast, so I obviously am a blue caster. Um, oh, I have blue and red. Do I? Stores, and that's a consumable. Um, but characters, so see how those say innate blue. These are blue guys. If I was, if I had fire attacks, I would do extra damage to them. So, red counters blue, and blue counters red. Um, let's just hit him with one of these. Okay, now let's go and defend. Defend is what you do when you're just biding time, waiting for your stamina to come back. Okay, beach bum. 65%, let's hit him! Oh yeah, we iced him. Um, attack this beach bum. Do another 65%. Okay, and now... We will defend. Boom. Strategy, guys. Act the beach bum. Hold on, what what kind of element can we do? Oh. We have no offensive spill spells. No offensive spills at the moment. No offensive spills to use. Well, that's okay. We're we're not really fighting tough enemies yet. Covered hit points. Uh max without using consumables. Spoilers found. Humor and Fang. I found a small amount of humor. My guy is slightly funnier. Found Fireball. Ooh. Okay, hold on. How do I equip these things? Go into the menu here. Elements. Use. Okay, I have no elements. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I wanted to equip stuff here. Um, Equip. Yes. Um, I have the sea swallow, a, lar a large ore made of a giant fish bone. I have light armor and monsters body fluid, temper material for forging equipment. Okay, so in this game, you don't find items like weapons and stuff. You have to forge them by collecting materials that you bring to town. I believe that's how it works. Oh, look, there's one of these things down here. Oh, and there's a cave too. Um, oh, he ran into the cave. Dare I follow? Feels like a trap. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, can I push this? Here we go. He's doing it. Okay, maybe the next time I see that thing, he'll go to run and he'll like bonk his head on that and then I'll get him. In fact, hold on, let's go back a screen right now before we fight more guys. See if my little puzzle solving worked. 
Hey, there's a beach bum watching overhead. Oh, interesting. Didn't work. Okay, he goes that way. What is the point of pushing that? Oh! Okay, hold on. I have an idea. I have a thought. A thought just clicked in my brain. Let's see if this works. I feel like we're gonna get something for catching this thing. Okay, he runs in there. And I push this like that. Okay, here we go. And then what if I come up here and try and sneak him back into the cave? He's gonna get trapped and then we'll have to- we can fight him or catch him or whatever we do. Ha ha! Gotcha! See? Prize just a little bit of patience and figure these things out, guys. You two can be a genius. Alright, now we're gonna brutally butcher these Komodo pups. Oh, these are the things we're supposed to try and catch! Oh, oh my god, I'm, I'm killing baby... baby lizards. For a girl, man! She's turning me into a murderer, a thug. I've become a petty thug. For a girl, what have I become? There we go. Oh, he's still alive? He dead now? <laughs> yeah, we did it! Alright, let's skin these things and get them back to our lady. Um, we received 48 gold. We received bone and bone. Wait, did we not get any scales? He collected a Komodo scale. He stored it safely. Alright, we just needed three, I think she said. Um... So we've already got one from the guy in town and one from killing these things. Anything up here? Oh, I just fell down. Okay. This guy. Oh, this is another puzzle, isn't it? Another puzzle. Or am I getting closer to him? I can't tell. I think I'm getting closer. Oh, we're catching him. We're slowly catching him. Oh, we did it. Okay, that one was just endurance. That was just straight run at him. I guess we could have strategized that a bit more. But I took the lazy way out. Roll the dice! Oh, that was a one-hit kill. All right, let's try and do... Let's replicate that. Oh, he missed. Okay, I'm actually gonna defend. There you go. Get your little peck in. Go ahead. Can't dodge both of these. Gotcha. I'm a hero! Every RPG begins by you just slaughtering random wildlife. I mean, not... Not every RPG. But, uh... It's it's so con it's like you know you can't you can't go fight like evil knights and stuff from the get go. You got to start killing. You got to start in pest control. That's where most RPG heroes get their start. Um, you know, just sort of killing random wildlife and such. You work your way up to the heavy stuff. Yeah, there's a chest over there that I want. Can I just like fall over and get it, or can I just walk this way? How do I get that? Hmm. Let's try going this way. See what we see. Oh, that just straight up exits. Okay, we s we do technically have enough scales right now, but... Wait, what? Why did I exit again? We do technically have enough scales, but I want to really quickly... We kind of missed, like... We can avoid that encounter if we want. Kind of missed, uh... What was over on the other side? Over here. I want to fully explore the environment. Um, like, well, what is down here? I, lo I love that these encounters are not random, so it's like you can avoid them if you want. It's actually very nice. I think the developer of this game said that he wanted to, like, avoid grinding. So that people didn't have to, you know... We're gonna have to use strategy to catch that guy. Um, so that people didn't have to just sort of, you know, grind through enemies over and over. They wanted to find a way to avoid that. I mean, you do have to kill enemies to earn experience. Well, again, not experience points, but traits or whatever. Um, but... 
it's it's different still. You guys know what I mean. They they wanted to find ways to make the gameplay as non-repetitive as possible. Boom. That 65% lands a lot, actually. All right, now this thing is dead. Beach bum, you're going down. How dare you be on the beach, you thing. Yeah. Now, as far as I know, there's no way to get more stamina. I think seven is the max for every character. Um, hey, we got a scale. Wait, we got a scale? One of the scales you're supposed to find? Wait, what did I just do? What am I doing? Interesting. What does that do? What is happening? Oh, it's f it's floating up. Some wait. When you drop a rock on a treasure chest, it makes it float. Who knew? A silver lupe. Huh. Okay. Well, whatever. I don't feel like I earned that uh, puzzle, but I'll take it. Um, now there was another dragon dude around here somewhere. I think he ran away. He's like straight gone. Mm, let's just see real quick. I think I have enough dragon scales or whatever Komodo scales that were fine, but... Yeah, like he's running up this way. Where did he go? Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna mess around with this too much because if we have enough, we should just go back to her so we can get the story going. All right, whatever. She said three, we got three. Maybe if we g gave her four, she'd be like extra grateful, but at the same time, we're trying to gain this girl. We gotta get her wrapped around our little finger. All right, where is she? I got your scales. Here they are. Yippee! <laughs> Off into the water. Um, get your butt over to Lizard Rock already. I think you deserve about 100 scales, but three will do for now. Once you get, meet me at Opasa Beach. It's south of Lizard Rock. I'll only accept scales that you personally collect. I don't want any of the... Oh, I... See. <laughs> Meh. Okay, she did turn mean on me. Kind of my own fault, though. I kind of treated her like crap. Uh, so... I, I don't think this relationship has legs. I think I've kind of screwed the pooch on this one. Uh, okay. We do have to find a way... to catch... that last... thing. Um, wait, where am I? Oh god, leave me alone. I don't want to fight you beach bums. I want peace with you guys. Peaceful truce. Okay, so how do you get this thing? Because he just ran away from me, like, just now. Oh wait, I wonder. Oh shoot. Alright beach bums, sorry. Hey wait, let's try running away. We can run away from every fight, right? That was like one of the re revolutionary parts of the game. Run away! <laughs> you just like, see ya! They're all like standing there, they're all prepped for battle. He just bails. No spoils found. We don't want to get spoiled with spoils. Alright, there we go, we just totally avoided that fight. Okay, so see how there's a beach bum up there. Oh, I think I might have an idea. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but see, every one of these is like a different puzzle to solve how to get them. There we go, okay, we gotta go up here. We'll fight these guys. I think you gotta drop down on these, uh, these Komodo dragons or whatever. Surprise them from above. All right, let's actually fight these things. Um, not missed. And ice them. And defend. Get your peck in, you little sand squirt. 
Uh, let's attack him because he hasn't attacked us yet. So we might be able to, if we kill him, then he can't attack. Oh my, he's dead. And oh, squirt gun. Whoa, he spit bubbles at us. That seemed like it'd be more refreshing than anything. Although it might actually be kind of gross. It's like a dog slobbering on you from a distance. Actually, that is gross. But the, the theory of being on a beach and, you know, getting splashed, it's kind of a fun idea. I'm down with that. Alright, so we found more humors and more fangs. Um, okay. Now we fight this guy. And then we kind of loop back down and I, and I think we'll just land on the Komodos or whatever. Be easy pickings at that point. Alright, beach bum. You're done. You're done. All right, defend. Give me your worst. What are these things anyway? There, they have flippers for hands. What kind of freaks. Oh, we critical hitted him. Yeah. All right, one more. Komodo lizard or whatever. And then, okay, let's think of a way to apologize. You know what, forget about gaming this girl. We tried, we tried to be a player, it backfired spectacularly. Um, X button to jump. Oh, we missed! <laughs> okay. I see. Do we have to fight this thing again, or is it just dead for us? Please be dead. Alright, I don't have to continually fight it. We have to get the timing of this down. Like, now. Like... Go! Go! Oh, okay. Whatever. Timing was a little tricky there, but it worked out. It all worked out. I was trying to jump when he was standing still on the left or right. and wouldn't let me jump. Did not want to try and time it when he was moving, but... Didn't matter. One down. Two down. Oh my god, it is the mama. We've been killing her pups. She looks pissed. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right to be mad. Oh, she's coming for the kill. Four hit points. It's actually nothing. You're less scary now. It might be big, but you're also stupid. Um, aqua beam. I should have defended. Oh, a laser beam of water. 28 points of damage. Okay, we're going to, uh, cure me. The power of water will heal me. Ah, oh, sweet. Um, full attack. Full attack. And then defend this time. He's breathing on us. Breath. There we go. Thank God we were defending that. 20 points of damage. Okay, we're gonna go for big attack. Big attack. And then we're going to here. Oh, we can't. Oh, look, she's, she's injured. Oh. I think she's done. She's like, just kill me. Jeez, still. Oh no, she's dead. Wow, that was a boss fight. Cool. Sorry about that, lady. Killed all your children and you. At least we wiped out a whole family line of uh, Komodo dragon pups. Oh, I received a star. Cool. Uh, my hit points went up, my strength, my magic. Um, ooh, I found a tablet. Cool. Alright. Stored it away safely. Alright, let's go... You said south of... this place. I don't want to kill any more of you beach bums. I regret the ones of you that I've killed already. Oh, stay away from me, dude. I mean you no harm. I mean you no harm. Okay, now we go south. I think she said. 
to Apasa Beach. Now we will woo her, apologize profusely for our jerkish attitude with uh, Komodo scales. Sorry I'm late. I hope you didn't wait too long, Jayus. Here's your scales. Make your dragon necklace or whatever you're doing. Did you get the scales? Here you go. Oh, they're beautiful. I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. Thank you, Jayus. It sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come all the time. Look at that beautiful ocean, guys. Don't you wish you were on this beach right now? Sun on your back, wind in your face, ocean right in front of you. The sea never changes, does it? Been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. Been here for eternity, it seems. Probably seen many things, heard many things. The old saying goes, the ocean never forgets. Probably keep rolling in and out, in and out long after our lifetime. Jeez, you're depressing me. You're depressing me, Lena. You're bumming me out. Remember we used to sit and talk like this when we were kids? Gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of waves. Just the two of us. You still remember that day? <laughs> I like how the default response is, I don't remember. I remember. I'm not going to be a dick to her. We tried, it didn't work. You do? So, JS, have you forgotten about the promise we made that day? Uh-oh. Uh, that makes me happy. I don't remember the promise, guys. <laughs> Aren't memories strange? Just when you think you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back to your heart. I guess it's just lying there and wait, waiting for that right moment. So we're going to make out, lady, or what? Like, I'm getting a vibe off you. Jayus got you those scales. We might remember this very moment someday. Yes. In the future, we might remember the present. That's how memories work. We're all grown up, married. Oh, she wants to marry me. Then one day, when time comes, I wonder what kind of adults we'll be. Kind of life I'll be leading. I wonder what to make of this day. How about... Let's, uh... I don't know. We'll forget it. Yeah, I guess so. But that would be really sad, wouldn't it? All days are forgotten, Leon. L Lena. There's been something I've been wanting to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're gonna get... What's happening? Jaius? Yes? What, what? What's wrong, Jayus? I, I... I don't know. What is wrong? Jayus? My guy's having a moment. Single tear rolling down his eyes. He stares out at the ocean. I... Don't... Know what's wrong, but... I... See... Something. Parallel universe. Oh god, what's happening in that parallel universe? But there was a dog's eyeball. What the heck? Oh my god, it's a tidal wave tsunami! Lena, run for it. I'm. <laughs> see, I'm teleporting out of here. Lena, run for it though. What's happening? A wave is coming to, uh... Crush this whole village, I guess. This whole island. Oh, just face down in the sand, eh? Lena's gone, by the way. <laughs> she didn't even wait for me to tell her. She just bailed. <laughs> she wasn't in that cutscene at all. Lena was halfway back to the village by the time that time... By the time we noticed there was an actual tidal wave. What are you doing there, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out here. It's a villager. Huh? What? Hello? Wh where am I? You all right, boy? What on earth are you doing lying down anyway? For a second, I thought you might have been a dead body washed ashore. Hmm. Well, I'm not a dead body. Oh, this is cool. We're probably in the parallel dimension now. Where my guy died as a kid or never existed or something like that. 
Where's Lena? You were the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Well, I'd best be on my way anyway. If you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen with you now. So I guess, you know, I kind of spoiled the twist that of the parallel dimensions or whatever, but I think it's like well known that that's what this game's about. So I apologize if you're watching this the first time. But yeah, like this would be kind of trippy if you're like, huh, wait, why is Lena in the village? Like she was just here with me. Like what a great motivate. Like what a well done like little twist here. Oh, we got to fight our way back through the lizard rock. All right. Let's fight our way back to the village and find out what the hell is going on. Oh, look, and things are all different. That's interesting. Let's try and go with the flow here. Oh my god, this fish thing's gonna catch me. Oh! Let's fight one of these. I just want to know what they are. I'm a, I'm a man who likes experiences. You know, they say it's not the, the destination, but the journey. I kind of feel like... Uh, well, not all the time, but sometimes that's me. Especially for, like, when we're experimenting with these old games. I like, uh... The experience of them. I like to see what, what every game has to offer. God damn it. Stupid fish. Oh my god, they're gonna kill us. I'm gonna kill these things so bad, though. 72%! Come on, just land a hit! Jeez. They defend. Aha, you missed. Hey, finally they missed on me. Okay, we're going for the high stamina attacks. Miss, miss. I feel like these things must have a higher than baseline rate of dodging because I keep missing everything. Oh, and also they are red, by the way, so they are fire creatures. Do I have an element that I can use on them? Just here. I don't have any offensive wa water spells. There we go. Bend. Uh-oh. 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 I don't have a lot of hit points. Attack temporarily decreased. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Crush this thing. Oh, wait. Do I have an element? Oh, no. Never mind. We killed him! Success. Great success. Okay. Heal. There we go. Found some scales. I'm really curious to see like what this parallel dimension has to offer. So we didn't really talk to too many townspeople, but I imagine that now you can talk to them all again and they're gonna have like different perspectives and different things to say. So like, I'm kind of excited. Oh look, there's a treasure chest down here. Don't mind if I do. We'll get a few more Komodo dragon scales. Maybe the lean of this dimension, we can uh, give them to her. And, uh, you know, she'll remember who we are or something like that. Who knows? Boom, one shot at that thing. Ah. You know, one thing that I feel like the Mario RPG really added that few others have had is that little action element where you have, when you have a character attack, you can tap a button right when the animation is about to attack and you do like extra damage. I feel like that is an interactive component of RPGs like this that I wish more had. Because when you just assign an attack and click go, and then you just sit back and watch a protracted animation, there's nothing to do. It'd be cool if there was like a, little, a tiny bit of interactivity that you could do. Um, just to sort of do more damage, play the game a little better. Ooh, an ivory helmet. You know, because in the Mario RPG, if you can time those extra attacks well, you do extra damage and you can get through fights easier. And so it's sort of like a skill-based reward for um, being a tiny bit better. But it's not essential. It's also not an essential part of the game where, like, if you if you can't do it, then, you know, you, you can't pass the game or something. Um, so this is good. There we go. Also, what is this thing? Improves hit percentage. Oh, sweet. I didn't even realize I had that. All right, we are improving. Improving for combat. Well, let's go explore this town. The fun, thing, the fun thing about the parallel dimensions is it makes talking to villagers, I feel like, more interesting. In a normal RPG, you kind of talk to villagers, they say some stuff, and like it is what it is. But in this, I feel like the thing that I'm curious about 
Like, what is that waitress going to say in this dimension? You know, like, that's kind of interesting to me, the thought of it. Um, so let's go find the waitress, first of all. Like, the village looks totally normal. Oh, we can talk to our mom, because our mom's not going to know who we are. See, it's kind of interesting. Oh, look, and this is owned by a different woman. What the heck? Hi there, haven't seen you around before. Are you from Termina? How's it going over there? I bet everyone's really excited about the Viper Festival. Um, what? My poems? What are you talking about? I gave them up on them ages ago. It was just a stupid dream I was obsessed with. I never did have any talent. Uh, but how do you know about that? Nobody knows about my poetry. It really doesn't matter anymore whether I'm not writing poems or not. Also, by the way, I like that you can walk around while characters are talking to you. I don't know why that I enjoy that, but I do. Nobody would give a hoot about someone writing poems in a tiny cafe in the middle of nowhere. Oh, a tiny cafe in the middle of nowhere, huh? Just remember, dreams do come true. Hmm. Do you honestly believe that? We live in the middle of nowhere in this tiny village leading small lives. Nothing's ever going to change, no matter how hard you try. That's just the reality of it all. Sigh. Wow, that's actually really cool. Hey, look, it's not a barrel. It's just a pot. <laughs> Everything's the same, but slightly different. We sliders our way into a parallel universe. How did the intro sliders go like, what would you do if you could go to an infinite number of parallel Earths, all the same, but slightly different? Welcome to sliders. Something like that. All right. This guy we talked to. Arg, I haven't been able to hit a big one lately, you know. I'm not really concerned about money or profit. I just have this urge for a challenge. Come on, baby. I know you're out there. Give me a big catch. Hey, the, he didn't have a big catch. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's talk to our mom before we find Lena. This is our mom, right? I think. And this was my room. Just like busting into somebody's house. Hmm. What are you doing here, man? This is. I'll let you rest here for a little while, man. You want to rest, man? Hey, wait, what the heck? This thing talks? And it has like a Jamaican accent, kind of, with all the mans. Hey, man, you want to rest in my place, man? Oh. Who, what, what are you doing in my house? My house isn't a playground for you kids, all right? Go play outside. M Mom, it's me. H who, Marge? Who the heck's that? I've lived in this house for five years now. Sorry that name doesn't ring a bell. This would be freaky if it happened. Um, man, this is the video game equivalent of sliders. It's actually really cool. This is really neat. You know what? When I first read that they did parallel dimensions instead of time travel, I was kind of like, eh. Like, I, I did respect, like, the developers wanted to try something different. But I was like, but the time travel is so cool because you can go in the past, change things, come to the future and see the impact. And, like, I think there are certain characters you can leave in the past. And when you come to the future, they had a big impact on history. So it's like seeing the impact of past on present is kind of cool and parallel dimensions didn't initially strike me as as innovative but this is really cool sort of seeing two alternate realities where things turned out very differently for people and being able to interact with characters in one reality and then come to the other and they're like hey how'd you know that about me like i don't do that anymore like it's actually a really neat idea oh let's talk to the sister first hold on oh there's lena I don't want to get to Lena too fast. I'm too, I'm, I'm actually enjoying talking to these uh, characters. Oh, hi. Are you new? Lena? I think she's on the pier babysitting. She should be on the pier. Are you a friend of Lena's? Like, nobody knows who this kid is. It's rather cool. Rather neat. Yippee! All right, Lena. Remember me? Love of your life? Who are you? Have we met somewhere before? Are you from Termina? Hey. Yeah. You. Kids are yelling. Don't be trying to pull any moves on Arlena, you jerk. <laughs> Don't be silly. Don't go swimming out too far. Okay, gotcha. Kids protective of his sister. Um, kids, I guess kids will be kids. Uh, don't worry about them. Um, hmm, you know, you look a lot like a boy who used to live next door to me. Uh, what was his name? Oh, uh, this is me. Um, what was his name? Why? Why do you want to know his name? Because it was me, damn it. I'm that boy. That boy died. Oh, God. He drowned when he was very young. 
It's all happened 10 years ago. Man, that's so dark. Soon after his mother passed away to, oh no, my mom, this is so sad. I was still very young back then, so I don't remember too well, but my mom says his name was Jaius. <laughs> wow, the plot thickens. I'm Jaius. Come on, Lena, you gotta believe me. You're Jaius? Oh, stop that. That's not even funny. The boy's dead. Don't you understand? You gotta believe me. It's me. I'm Jaius. I don't know what's happened, but I'm gonna find a way to set things right, Lena. I love you, Lena. Um, I kind of liked him. That boy was still alive today. I wonder what would have become of us. Well, he would have taken you for granted and been a dick to you. And then ultimately come to regret it. <laughs> sure is weird why I'm opening up to you like this. I guess there's no use in thinking about the past. It's not like Jace is going to come back. Mom always tells me I shouldn't dwell on lost loved ones. Oh, God. You can find... His grave up on Cape Hal. Actually, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there in a while. Well, I still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew up at you like that. Oh my god. This is also giving me flashbacks like Back to the Future Part 2 when Marty and Doc go back to 1985 where it's Biff's 1985 and like Doc finds his own grave and he find and Marty finds the grave of his dad and stuff like it, it, parallel worlds, guys. I mean, I guess parallel worlds has something to do with time travel because of Back to the Future, right? Like, parallel worlds can come to exist because of messing with time travel, but uh, goodbye, stranger. Oh, man, this is... This is... This actually, honestly, has sucked me in a little bit. Vi I will be honest with you guys. Most times when I play RPGs, I play more for the gameplay, the mechanics of the gameplay. Um, you know, and, and some gameplays mechanics I like better than others. Um, I have said before that I'm not the biggest fan of like the Final Fantasy style gameplay where like you just select attack, defend, or like item and you know, I mean this basically um, is using that style of gameplay. So it's like not my most favorite way of implementing RPG um, fights. It's serviceable and fine I would say, just not my favorite. But most of the time when I play RPGs it's because I like the game. Certain games will suck you in with a good story, and honestly, I don't know what it is, but this, the idea of this is just rather cool. I quite like this, but anyway, the Arcadia Dragoons are currently investigating the area. It's off limits. We will inform you when our investigation is complete. Hmm. Yeah, I want to play just a little longer. I mean, I don't want to... Okay, pal, here we go. Um, you know, we're, we're obviously going to have to put some limit on this soon. This video is going to get a little long. But now that we're in this parallel world, like, I thought maybe we would tie it up very soon, but now that we're in this parallel world, I kind of want to, like, the Electro Jolt. I'm not even so curious about fighting enemies and seeing more of the gameplay. I'm honestly more interested to, like, see more of, like, the story element of it at this point, actually. Which is rather interesting. What is that thing? Like, I'm literally avoiding the fights <laughs> to get more plot. That doesn't happen to me in video games. You guys know me. I, normally, I skip plot and stuff. <gasps> oh, my God. Look at... Like, first of all, amazing visuals here. An amazing use of, like, the PlayStation. Wow, this is my grave. Wow, they buried me... Wait, they buried me on a cliff like this. Normally, you bury people six feet down. If I dug six foot down from right now, it would just be a hole. I don't think there's an actual body here. It f fell at the bottom of this cliff a long time ago, but... Damn. Damn. There's some writing on the tombstone. Our beloved Jaius died age seven. Nobody can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned. But his dead may never die. <laughs> um, damn. A kid dying at the age of seven. That is tragic, man. Like... No joke. There's no joking to be had about children dying. Like, that's brutal. Um, so you must be Jaius, the ghost of the boy who died ten years ago. Hello? Who is this? Don't move. It's no use. There's no escape that way. All you have to do is come with us. But sir, Kar but sir Karsh, do you think it is truly true that this chap is a ghost? 
Seems like a perfectly young, a perfectly perfect young boy to me. That doesn't matter. We found the boy here just as he said we would, didn't we? Who? Whoa, oh my God! Who's he? How did he know? Sees him. Oh man, the plot thickens. Hold your seahorses. Who is this now? Oh. Oh, it's uh, it's my my friend, kid. Oh, hello, kid. What up? Who the? Kid doesn't believe in pants. Kid only fights in short shorts. They intimidate the enemy. They dazzle them with her beautiful thighs. Out of the way, Missy. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? Shut your trap. You're the ones who better get out of the way. You have a problem? Do you have a shaken idea who you're dealing with, Missy? That's enough! Are you close by? Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you, just come with us. Or else, this axle mine will have to do the talking. Oh. Shut up and let's get it on. We're gonna kick your sorry arses so hard, you'll kiss the moons. You'll kiss the moons, what, a, what an insult. You'll regret this. All right, let's fight. Let's tango, man. I've had enough of killing random sea creatures by the beach. Let's kill a few humans. Or humanoids, or whatever you guys are. We'll, we'll kill you. All right, Jayus. Um, should we go for salt, karsh, or pepper? Let's take out the henchmen first. Kablamo. Kablamo. Oh, he's coming in for an attack. Two hit points. That's reasonable. Okay, attack him. 85%. Damn it. Oh, how much damage does this guy do? Eight. And two. Okay. Sir, his innately innate elemental color attribute is white. Right, that does it. Quick attack him with the opposite elemental color attribute, black. How unfortunately unfortunate. I do not seem to have any, sir. You nincompoop, you should always carry elements of every color. How about you there? I'm shaking in my shoes to tell you this, sir, but I don't have any either. I'll have to let Sir Car show us how it's done. Useless fools, er. Real men don't need magic when they can fight with their might. Okay, how do we change... He just gave us, like, a pro tip there, man. How do we change elemental colors? Um, is there a way to do it? I uh, can't find a way. Okay, well, he was, he was basically telling us, the, you know, you need to use different elemental colors in this game. Boom, 10. And then we'll go to this guy, attack him. Oh, God. Just kill him. Oh, God, eight to the gut. Oh, but J, oh. Um, hold on, go to the girl. What is her elemental thing? Fireball hurls spheres of fire at enemies. Let's do it, man. Fireball these guys. Hiya! Oh god, 28 points of damage. That's sweet. Um, okay, attack. I can't believe this guy's still alive, by the way. Kaboom! Alright, we killed one dude. Turns out the dudes are harder to kill than, uh, sea creatures. Defend, defend. Okay, attack. Uh, oh, that guy's green now. Are their colors changing? I thought they were all yellow at one point. Oh no, Jayus! Oh, only one point of damage. Kaboom! He'll defend. Oh yeah! And he will attack this guy. Like this. And like that. Oh, didn't defend in time. So you kind of have to like, what I'm learning here is you kind of have to like time out when you think enemies are going to attack you and then get into like defensive stat stances or whatever. It's sort of turn-based. I mean, it is turn-based, but like I have no idea when the enemies are actually going to attack me, but you can kind of 
make some predictions. Hold on, let's... Oh, we don't have any more fireballs? Magma Bomb! Tablet plus fireball. Hmm. Launches a volley of fireballs at one foe. At, at all foes. Why didn't I do this to begin with? Boom, boom. Oh, we just killed a guy with that. Sweet. Um, okay, attack him. This. And with that. Then defend. And attack him. That. Oh, God. I attack him with that. And then get back and defend. Uh-oh. Dragon Rider. Hey, it's like a Golden Axe-style dragon. Boom! All right. Do I have any good elementals? It's just Cure, which is kind of just not relevant right now. No one's close to dying. We'll just heal after the battle. We don't need to heal right now. Defend. Aha! Blocked you. We'll let her finish him off. Let's just do this move. And this move. Oh, it's not enough. This one. <laughs> Kill him already! Come on, man. Ice this guy. Oh, we can't- we can't get a finishing move in there. Oh no, the dragon! Oh. Kill him! Kill him! Girl is almost dead, man. Kill him! There we go. Woof! Alright, we def- we desperately need a heal. We actually really do need to heal this time around. Two stars, Jason friends reach a new growth level. Hit points plus 15. Res, resistance maybe? Plus one? Girl, plus 14. And strength, plus one. Um, heal up. Wait, did we not heal her at all? Oh, we got a bone axe. You can have the bone axe, I think. I think my weapon's working out pretty well. Um, S Sir Karsh, I say we shake it on out of here so we can live to fight another day. These are no ordinary brats we're dealing with. I like how he has cowardly henchmen. Damn cowards. You haven't seen the last of me, boy. We won't forget this. Ooh, I'm so scared. I'll be happy to take you on anytime you think I'll lose to scum like you, ha. Huh? And maybe she has some answers for us. You all right, mate? But what happened? Jaius, your name's Jaius, ain't it? It is. Oh, me. My name's... What is your name? Kid. <laughs> we'll just confirm. Sure, your name's Kid. Call me Kid. Nice to meet ya. I just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on you like that. They just pissed me bloody hell out. Wish I could have beat them up some more. But why was that mom after ya? Well, I'm a dead little boy who's come back to life. What do you mean you've never met him before, eh? I forget it. Look at this grave. This grave looks like it's on an alien planet, honestly. Hey, JS, how about you and me team up for a while? That Kosh fella ain't gonna just leave you alone. And tell you the truth, I'm new to these islands. Pretty much lonely traveling around here on my own. But how about it, JS? Perhaps it was fate that would have us meet up like this. Well... Let's do it. Who am I to refuse a good fighter? Beauty, mate. That decides it then. We're gonna be real good mates. So I think just like Chrono Trigger, there's lots of alternate endings. I wonder if I refuse to let her join me if she would actually not join me. Uh, we head to Arnie and shack up for the night. Oh, she wants to shack up with me. Oh, okay. Lena, it's okay if you don't remember me. I have a new girlfriend, apparently. <laughs> oh, what? Don't go trying any funny stuff just because I'm cute and all. Oh, she's specifically... She's, she's projecting me. I didn't even make a move on her. She's rejecting me before I even had a chance to bring it up. I was projected, guys. 
Oh, damn. All right, Lena, take it back. This loser J.S. desperately needs Lena in his life. Apparently no other girls are interested in him. I like how the devs specifically thought, we have a cute female character teaming up with a male lead. We know what everyone's going to be thinking. Let's have her specifically say she's not interested in him that way. They didn't want the player getting any ideas, you know. Um, it's a teleporter. You'll be able to switch your party members from afar. A real handy gadget. All you have to do is ask the pain to explain. You know, ask, look it up in the menu. <laughs> <laughs> the teleporter. That's cool. Um, let's see. Items? The teleporter. Unless you change party members on the world map or when standing in reach of records of fate. Hey, there's a Komodo scale. Colorful scale of large lizard. That it looks way more technological than this society should have access to. Is this person from, is this, is this, is kid from the future? That'd be kind of cool, actually. Mix a little bit of time travel in. Um. All right, isn't this woman gonna be mad that we're in her house again? Hello? What, you again? Give me a break, man. What do you want from me? I told you, I don't know any JS or Marge. He's just like accepted the fact that we sleep in his house now. He's like, oh god, get out of my house, kids. Wonder what the sister has to say. Hello? Hi, hey newbie. You find my sister yet? You alright? You look like you've just seen a ghost. I wanna find Lena again. See what's going on with her. She just stands on the docks day and night watching these kids. What a life. Find the great boy's gro uh, grave up at uh, Hal. Okay. So, there isn't too much... Uh, I, I mean, I think we're going to call it here just because we've been playing this for a bit. And I got a little taste of the mystery and flavor of Chrono Cross. Um, honestly, as I said, this game... This game's story, I think, is actually cooler than I thought it would be going into this video here today. Like, who is the he who knew I would be up at the grave, who sent those guys to get me. Like, there's so many mysteries. Like, it's very cool. It's very neat that I've been pulled into an alternate dimension where, like, you know, basically the girl who wanted to marry me now doesn't know who I am, and I died when I was seven. Like, okay, it is parallel. This Technically, Chrono Cross is about parallel dimensions, not time travel. But, I mean, like, it has whispers of time travel in the plot. I don't know. It's very cool, very neat idea for a game. Um, this actually even makes me more intrigued now about having never played Chrono Trigger. Um, you know, if I did have to sort of dock anything about the game, I would, you know, reiterate just my point that the combat style that this game goes for is a very combat, common combat style in, in uh, RPGs, sort of the Final Fantasy style of combat. It's, again, not my favorite way of, um, sort of having RPGs combat mechanics in a game, but I think it, it's, again, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. it. It didn't strike me as poorly done or anything like that. And the, sort of the elemental thing of having spells of different categories that can counter other categories and stuff, I think is good. So all in all, I mean, as far as RPGs go, I think that this one uh, definitely is deserving of its praise as a great game and its placement in the Thousand and One book. And again, I am a little astonished at how much the plot really suckered me in so fast. Because you guys know me, I typically skip all plot stuff. I don't normally watch cutscenes. I ignore characters when they talk to me. I'm so bad. But yeah, the plot in this one, the concept is cooler than I realized. And they really did pull me in. I really do feel like I, I now wish I had talked to more characters in the village before I transferred into a new dimension. So I could see how people's lives turned out differently. It's just so fascinating, like a parallel world where everything is like a little different, but the same characters are there. Like, I, I really want to see how all these stories worked out. So yeah, very cool idea for a game. I had fun with this one today. If you like uh, Final Fantasy style RPGs in the slightest, like if you like, if you actually like the, the sort of combat mechanic gameplay, it's like one of your favorite ways of combat mechanicking then the combat mechanics here you're going to enjoy. But then on top of that, whatever you feel about those combat mechanics, 
there is a cool game, a cool plot, a cool idea, a neat idea here. And uh, I think I think this game uh, would be very interesting to continue to play. So those are my thoughts on Chrono Cross. What do you guys think of this game? It's one of the games in the book, a thousand one video games you must play before you die. Is it a good game? Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? Is there things I missed? Are there nuances that I would have discovered if I kept playing that would really make this game? Should I come back one day and actually try and play much farther through it? I don't know. Um, again, whether Chrono Trigger is in the book or not, I feel like one day I wouldn't mind playing that one all the way through. And now that I know this game exists, after playing Chrono Trigger, I might want to actually come and play this one just to get the plot. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Sound off in the comments down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this game. And as always, whatever you think of this game, hopefully today was interesting and entertaining for you. And if it was, don't forget to like the video and all that jazz. And other than that, I will catch you in the next video. Until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And peace. Oh, damn. I was projected, guys.